Some pretty interesting developments in the Herd versus Depp situation. She might be in some trouble. So I want to talk about that and what's going on. Some people have been digging into this, and I think it's worth covering because <laughs> wouldn't this be some sweet justice? Now, I got to be honest. Do I think she'll really get in trouble for this? Probably not. I don't see anything happening. It's just kind of the way things are. But you never know. You never know. So let's go over this. So what's going on here? Well, Heard could face three years if she's found, you know, guilty of faking evidence. And there's actually a very strong case that she did. So a lot of stuff has been uncovered. And I want to go over that because apparently she might have been using makeup to make fake marks on her face. And that's not very cool. Now, will they actually pursue this? I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't think they will. They just usually don't. And it's very unfortunate. You know, if it was Johnny Depp in this situation, I bet you he would probably get charged. But unfortunately, it's really not a man's world as much as the cringy NPCs like to tell it, <laughs> like to say that it is. It's not. Everything is geared to kind of ruin men. It's just kind of how it is. So uh, here's what's going on. Heard could face up to three years if proven guilty of faking evidence. Heard allegedly painted on the marks to obtain a TRO against Depp. Uh, judge overruled Heard's attempt to dismiss Johnny Depp's 50 million case, 50 million defamation case against her. And like I said, so this is actually a really big deal. Uh, a defamation case is extremely hard to get going. Like it's, it's hard to, it's hard to get that even seen. It's happening in this case, which is bad news for her. She's probably going to lose it, to be honest. Uh, like I said, I think the biggest thing that's going to hurt her is that deposition tape of her rolling her eyes and eating chips and acting like a clown. She just didn't want to be there. She wasn't taking it serious. She looked really childish. And once you show this stuff to a jury, talking about this whole, the whole marketing, the markings on her face and how she might have used makeup, that's going to look really bad. I predict she's, I, I predict she's going to lose this. Now, I could be wrong, but I think that she might lose this case. And she's going to end up having to pay Johnny $50 million. And good. To me, that would be some justice right there. Uh, unfortunately, though, like I said, charges are a, a different thing. You know, you have to actually get uh, the, the, you know, county to come in and press those charges. And I just, I don't see it happening. I wish it would. I do wish it would. And maybe if the fact that she's a celebrity might make that happen. But let's face facts. She's, she's a lady. So it's probably not going to happen. So anyway, what's going on here? What are the implications here? So here's where it starts. Amber Heard could face up to three years if proven guilty of manipulating evidence against Depp. Heard and Depp's marriage did not only end in divorce. The exes were also embroiled in a legal battle over after the Aquaman star accused uh, Pirates of the Caribbean star of some, some issues. However, Depp fired back and said that she painted on the marks to obtain a TRO for, against him. Depp's legal defense wanted to subpoena James Franco because he was seen joining Heard in surveillance footage. He, and this is significant because Franco saw her face in the days and nights before she had to go to court and get that TRO. So continuing on, in a different in incident, Heard claimed that Depp gave her two more marks during an argument that occurred the night before she made an appearance on The Late Late Show with James Corden on December 16, 2015. In a court document obtained by The Blast, Heard celebrity stylist Samantha McMillan denied her claims because she saw the actress on those days and said she didn't have any bruises. Now, that's a big, big deal. Okay. And listen, these are actors, right? You see, you see people, actors and actresses in movies and on TV, and they get beat up all the time, right? It's all done with makeup and a lot of things. So spending all that time learning, you know, seeing that done to you, you learn how to do it. And I'm sure she's friends with people that can do it. It's not that hard. And it looks real. 
It can look very real. So it's not that far-fetched that she's done that. And if this gets proven, this is like an automatic win for him. And this would explain why she's sitting there looking so depressed lately. You know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, the wheels are coming off. Maybe we can finally end this stupid movement where we just cancel and ruin people's lives or a bunch of garbage. That would be that would be the real outcome for this that I would like to see. Okay, we just had it recently again with Alyssa Milano being a big hypocrite. So maybe maybe we can dream. I would love for for this stupid stupid M E T O O thing to end because it has just caused so many problems for people, ruined so many lives. It's just it's got to go. Kangaroo Court on Twitter is not real court. This is real court, and this is what happens when you face scrutiny. So you better open up another box of that wine, Amber, (laughs) because I think that you're going to be drinking quite a bit of it because I think you're in some trouble. You're at least going to probably lose this case. There's been so much backfiring with this, and it's just kind of it's just kind of ridiculous. But I'm loving it for a lot of reasons. One, the media has shifted over to Depp's side. All of the coverage covering this is pro Johnny Depp now, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen that before. And I've been covering stuff like this for a while now. And I've never seen it flip the script like that, which that's pretty awesome to see. And then, you know, just putting cracks in this movement, I think, is also another thing that's pretty awesome to see. That's the real justice for everybody out of this, is that movement's going to get a big crack in it. And I think that is glorious. So she gave a statement saying that she didn't see any marks and, you know, I'm sure that that's going to make its way into the case. So if she's proven guilty, she could face three years. That's kind of the thing that they've said here over and over again. And like I said, will that hold? Will that happen? I don't know. You know, I I don't see them pursuing it. This was back in 2016. And while I'm sure, I, I don't know, you know, law out there, I'm pretty sure that that's within statute of limitations. So she could get in trouble. Will I think they'll do it? No, I don't think she's going to go to jail. Now, I think it would be cool if she got tried for it for sure. And if she did, what would she get? Probably some probation and a slap on the wrist. Let's be real. That's what she would get. But wouldn't it be great and glorious to see something happen? Because there's evidence for it. That whole Late Late Show is a big thing. You actually have her recorded there, okay? Because she said it happened the night before that show happened. You can't you can't get rid of that. There would still be some swelling. There would be swelling. And those marks, that's a little too hard to cover that up. So it's more than likely that... She put it on for when uh, when the 5-0 were at the house taking pictures or whatever. And she used that. And then she went on the Late Late Show because she's stupid and had no marks. And was like, hey, it's me, Amber Heard. <laughs> and uh, she messed up big time. She screwed up big time, royally, royally, royally. She didn't think it through. And now she's going to pay. She's going to pay $50 million. (laughs) Listen, you know, I've only been following this case for a little bit. I've picked it up here and there, but there's so much, there's so much showing that she's lied and just manipulated people. I mean, this is why the media is jumping on board with, with Johnny Depp. Now I did a video on this the other day saying like it shifted everything on the search right now is pro Johnny Depp. So, you know, at the end of the day, do I think, do I think she's going to get in trouble like legally, like criminally or whatever? Probably not. Do I think she's going to have to pay up 50 million bucks? Probably. She's probably going to settle immediately. I think uh, if she's paying for a good lawyer, he's going to sit her down and say, look, uh, you're, you're a liar (laughs) and and everyone's going to see it. You did. A, you made a clown of yourself at that deposition. Uh, settle, and she's going to have to pay him thirty something million dollars. I'm sure they'll come down to a figure, and that'll be that'll be it. Unfortunately, though, for Johnny, you know, 
Will he get his career back at full power? I don't know. I see reports that, you know, they want him to play the Joker. I think that would be pretty cool. I think he could play a good Joker. We'll see. Uh, who knows? But anyway, like, I think I think there's going to be a good outcome, at least in this case. So anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think she's going to get charged? Uh, do you think she's going to win or lose this case? What are your thoughts? I'd like to hear what you think. Also, if you would, throw a like up. I'd appreciate that. Also, maybe share the video. That would be really cool. And I would very much appreciate it. Also, if you could, make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.